we want to deal with text data. To start that out, we want to uh, gather some data that's useful. Like uh, Hayes and Efros gathered these uh, millions of images, we want to have something to go on. And we could have the raw text, but it's turned out that the, the field has agreed that summarizing that text is more useful. And Google has helped that by publishing a corpus of n-grams. Uh, uh, n-gram is a sequence of n consecutive words. So we went out on the web and found a trillion words. And we tried to uh, eliminate all the bad uh, spammy stuff and all the duplicates. And we didn't uh, do a completely good job of eliminating that. But we cleaned it up quite a bit. Uh, so that's 95 billion sentences, 13 million unique words, and then uh, those various numbers of two, three, four, and five word sequences. So we would tell you uh, each of those sequences and how many times they occur. For example, here's an excerpt from the middle of the four gram sequences telling you how often each of these uh, four word sequences occurred. Uh, and you start to get a feeling, and this is just a very small excerpt, of course, and so there's lots and lots of information for what you can survey, uh, much more than you would see in a dictionary or encyclopedia. Uh, now, so there's a lot of information there, but of course it's uninterpreted information. In order to make sense of it, uh, all we have is the raw data. Programs that want to make sense of it have to do that on their own. So what can you do with this type of data? Uh, and just uh, in terms of uh, counting number of words. Uh, well, let's go back to our original task of uh, doing uh, orbital mechanics. And I'm going to show you how to do orbital mechanics with no telescope, with no F equals MA, just using text. And we're going to do that. We're going to answer two questions. One, what is the period of the orbit of the moon around the Earth? And the other, what is the period of the orbit of the Earth around the sun? And how did I do that? Well, I went to my favorite tool. And this time, I went to Google Trends and put in these two queries, full moon and ice cream. <laughs> and you see, this is the, uh, the histogram of the popularity of the queries over time. And if you look at those peaks for uh, full moon in blue, and you measure the distance between the peaks, it works out to 28 days. And then in the red, we have ice cream. You can see popular in the summer, not so much in the winter, and measure the distance between the peaks there, and it works out to 365 days. So uh, we've succeeded. Uh, the world as a whole, our, our set of users, have, have answered these physics questions for us, and, and we did it just by counting words. <laughs>